hello guys uh, today in this video i'm going to teach you how to update and commit the github repositories so first i will teach you how to update the repositories so if we go forward it is necessary for you to um, have the dot svn downloaded in your pc so if you do not have it you can see my previous video and uh, where i have uh, told you about how to download SVN. Let's continue. First, we'll have to go to the location of our repository. So, I'll go to the File Explorer and let's say uh, I wish to update uh, this one GTS Employer Contract History Component. So, first, I have to right click on this uh, repository and then you uh, I click on SVN update and then in this we are they are going to show us all the files that have been updated from the github on github so for this it is necessary to be you yourself your PC to be connected to your internet because it is updating the data from online like I mean the github so that's how so that's how you uh, uh, update a repository now I, I will tell you how to commit a repository so commit basically means uh, that you are you are uh, updating the changes you have made in your repository to the github so uh, so for that um, we'll have to move to the repository which you wish to commit then right click on it and then click on SVN commit so uh, here uh, here in this window it shows all the files that have been changed so right now I have only one file changed that is trunk or slash form.xml so it's necessary to select the files you wish to commit and uh, moreover you will have to uh, write the uh, write a message regarding what is being committed so uh, so right now here i have committed the java version so i would uh, write a message saying the java yeah and then after the message is done i click okay and this starts committing in the change files and the the fast your reposit uh, repository is getting committed depends upon how fast how good you have the internet connection so right now they're uh, showing us error so I would continue by pressing OK and uh, they, have, uh, they are asking me to update. So sometimes what happens is uh, uh, we directly um, uh, change a repository and go to, go to commit it. But um, on the other side someone might have already uh, changed something else and have updated it. So for that it is necessary to update your uh, repository first and then edit and then commit. So now it's getting updated, like the changes are getting updated. There's a conflict. So uh, here there is a conflict. So this basically means that um, uh, they have their uh, the thing is changed in the same place. So, so, the, so by right clicking on the error, we can decide about like which one to take. So, let's say if mine is correct uh, and I want to solve it to using mine, then I, I would click on the button resolve conflict using mine. 
or if it is uh, if their uh, repository uh, is right then i would click on resolve conflict using this so right now um, uh, i would click on uh, resolve conflict using this so that would depend see you can see the error is resolved now i can click on okay and then try committing again i mean like i have already as i have already said resolve using there there is no requirement of committing again so um i would just change uh, in the file so let's say it's read java version okay now i will try to commit it like right now my my uh, repository is uh, updated therefore i don't think there would be any error so it's getting committed and there it is so my repository is committed and uh, there is another thing you can see uh, red uh, red exclamation marks on some repositories and some with right so that basically means that my repository has been committed like uh, this repository is uh, uh, committed to the github and uh, the exclamatory symbol means that these are uh, not yet committed so that's all for today hope you understood and if you have liked it do like the video and do not forget to subscribe goodbye meet you in the next video